Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Jess if you forgot who I am because it's been such a long time. But hello, welcome back. Or welcome to. I don't know, you might be new here. Hi. Basically today I'm showing you guys how I do my makeup at the moment. I've learned a new routine and I've picked up some new products and brushes and whatnot. So I wanted to show you guys. I feel like this is a good comeback video because we are, you know, 2022, August to the end of the year is our year. Like we're gonna we're gonna just smash and stuff out. So yeah, I'm rambling, but anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, I love you very much. I hope you have an amazing day. And yeah, thank you for well watching the intro. I don't know if you stay for the whole video, but I hope you do. But yeah, enjoy. <laughs> okay, so just to start the tutorial, basically we're going to start off with some skincare. I feel like lately, whenever I do my makeup, my most important step has been skincare. Also, I do have a top one, by the way. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to start off with some skincare, which is like moisturizing, priming, all that fun stuff. I'm going to go on first with my Clear Start, my Clearing Defense. Oh, she's a beauty guru. SPF 30. I've started wearing a long sunscreen because the weather outside today is beautiful. So, I'm going to start putting on some more sunscreen. Also, look at my armpits, the tan. Oops. Anyway, I'm going to pop that all over our face and our neck. Um, and just rub that in. It smells so good. So, like, fresh. I love it. Also, I have a mirror over here, so that is what I'm <laughs> probably going to be looking at for most of this video. One thing that I've started doing that makes me feel really bougie is moisturizing, but, like, going behind my ears and, like, up my neck. Um, sorry, I need to stop with my eyes up, too. <laughs> look at you guys. Hi. What I'm also going to do, because hydration is just key, and I'm currently on Accutane, which is going to be another video, and maybe an Instagram highlight series, which I have promised a lot of people, so, oops, let me go on to that. I'm going to take, this is just Sorbeline, um, or... Glick, 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 something. <laughs> I'm gonna put the name on the screen. But anyway, I got this from um, my doctor, but you can get it from Chemist Warehouse. I've seen it's like fifteen dollars. It could be. I could be completely wrong. But anyway, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of that on. Um, all the areas that we just put our sunblock on, just for extra hydration. Yeah, my tan. Oops, my tan is so uneven at the moment. So we're gonna try. Hope. But like we have a foundation that'll match because all my foundations seem to be pretty dark because I'm usually a lot more tan. That's okay, we're gonna make something more, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, so now that that is in, I'm gonna put on, I got this little La Mer cream. Can you see how tiny that is? Like, literally so small. It's like a Mecca sample, I think, when I ordered some stuff a while ago. Sir. My hands are so slippery, I can't even open it. Do you know how expensive these creams go for? I like save with this, and I've only used a tiny bit. I literally cannot open that. Hold on, I need to like dry my hands. The blanket, oh my gosh, wait, it's so slippery. Oh my god, I literally, hold on, I can't open it. Okay, finally got it done, used my little blankie, um, but I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of this. So this is like really thick. It smells like old lady, but it's really thick. I'm gonna put some on my nose and sort of my T zone, just where like my pores are like really, really big. <laughs> also, not a beauty influencer or guru at all. I'm just doing what I do and what works for me. I've actually been watching a lot of Shireen Morris um, and Painted by Spencer. They are my favorite. I also love my makeup by Mario and what is her name? Oh my god, I can't think of her name. Hirsch. Hirsch. I love Hirsch. Um, and I've been watching, sorry, I've been watching side drag watching a lot of Shereen Morris um her TikToks are just insane painted by Spencer his YouTube channel I'm obsessed with him so yeah I'm just gonna rub that moisturizer just into parts that either go really dry or like like I said my pores go super huge um it's just it kind of makes like a putty like it's real nice my face looks so inflamed right now but we're gonna make it let's make it work and then my last little step in my skincare I'm gonna take the Thin Lizzy illuminating perfectly primed primer put this on my little real techniques brush which I have Lost at the moment, so I need to find that. Found it. So I'm gonna put a tiny little bit of this. Oh my gosh, now I kind of feel nice. Oh, there we go. On my brush, look how pretty it is. It's like a. <laughs> and it was so blonde. A uh, little pearly sort of look. I need to stop looking at myself. Um, and I'm gonna just put this pretty much where I just put all the Lamia moisturizer um, and sort of just blend that in because it's gonna give a nice pearly finish under our foundation. So yeah, just blend, blend, blend. I actually, fun story about this, that was good timing, the recycling truck just went past as I was saying to speak. Fun story about this brush, I actually knew that I bought this brush here from Real Techniques. So this one is super duper cool, I'll get more into it when I get into my foundation, but it basically has different levels and whatnot. So I went and bought this from Farmers, and they gave me this brush for free, it was like a free gift. I was like, hell yeah, I'll take that. So this is a really nice brush for just putting in extra products and whatnot. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember to stay hydrated, kids. Oh, it's still got pre-workout and it tastes like Rara. It's so good. Okay, so the last skincare step I'm going to take is just taking some of my pore pore and putting it on my lips because as I said, I'm on Accutane and that dries out your whole 
um, everything really, my hands and everything. So, pop some of that on our lips, some nice moisturized, and let's get in to the makeup. <laughs> okay, so step numero uno, I'm going to brush out my brows. We're going to start with brows first. Um, I was watching, I think it was Cherie, and I think Painter by Spencer both do their brows first. Um, like I said, I've got a mirror there, so that's why I'm looking away all the time and up at the viewfinder because, oh, I just can't look at myself. Like, I can't look at the camera, it's just... Anyway, I'm going to take my LA Girl Brow Pomade. This is in the shade Taupe. Um, this, I've literally had this exact pot for like four years now. And I'm going to take this super duper thin and gold little brush and just pop it in there, wipe off the excess. It's like a little guinea. <laughs> there we go. And just um, fill in my brows. So starting at the start, I actually need to get them done. That was, oh, that was one of my goals for today. Hmm. Oh, dang it. Maybe I'll get them done on the weekend. Um, so yeah, for now, we're just going to brush through there and brushing up. This is so difficult to do if you're like so far away from the mirror. So maybe, oh wait, that actually doesn't look too bad. It looks so nice when we carve them out. Um, so yeah, do that and then we'll do that for the other one. I know some people who brush their brows down and fill on the top, so maybe we'll try that. We just, it's a learning curve today, team. We're learning together. So because they're looking pretty good for now, we can always go in and fill them back in, whatever. Um, I'm gonna take my little Thin Lizzy concealer. This is in the shade Miss Vondita. This one data. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna pop it on my little ColourPop palette. That's why, because it goes all watery when you don't use it for a while. Um, so I'm gonna take some of this and just carve out my brows um, with my little concealer brush. This is by the brand Carla. The brand's run, uh, like rubbed off because I use it so much, but it's actually such a good brush. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just carve them out. <laughs> So with my makeup lately, I've been trying to keep it um, as natural as um, possible. And I found that by using brushes rather than sponges, it gives it such an airbrush look. I learned that from Cherie. I love Cherie. I wish she actually applied to one of my stories once. Well, she shared me on her story. Yeah, because I posted a video that I was watching one of her YouTube videos. And she like replied to it, put it on her story, and I felt so famous. That was like when Anna Paul replied to my story. I still think about that every day. Like... Oh, mate, so happy. But anyway, um, so yeah, I've been trying to keep it just a lot more natural, and I feel like using brushes makes it so airbrushed and just so nice. Um, so yeah, and I've been trying not to put as much on. Like, <laughs> I know I look a bit crazy right now, but um, yeah, sort of toning it down. So I used to wear so much makeup, it was actually unreal. But I'm going to just pull this into my eyelid. I always make such random, like, noises, just like at all times. I don't know, it's weird. Cracky. That's all looking crazy. I'm gonna go in with this little brush here. So, like I said, this is from Real Techniques. You can put it on the min setting, medium, and max. So it basically takes it to different like extremities. Is that a word? I don't know if that's a word. But we're gonna put it on mid and just blend that in to our eyes. Sorry, I need to look at the camera. Oh, shocking. Make it look a little bit more natural. Such a beautiful day today. So that's why I don't really want to wear too much makeup because. I keep it sort of natural. I'm just going to take whatever leftover concealer is here and just um, sort of do the front of the brows. I feel like this is so slapdash. Like, if you're here for an in depth tutorial, it's not. This is just showing you what I've been doing lately and um, yeah, what I've been enjoying. Very like natural summer glowy glam. Yeah. So now I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade Classic Ivory and just set what I've put on my eyelids. Um, well, a lot came off there just so they don't um, crease. I actually am obsessed with this powder. Like, I think it's super duper good. And I'm also obsessed with the Thin Lizzy ones. Um, this is in the shade Minx, and this is my one for setting. And then they also sent me a dark one, which I like just for powder contour and stuff. But we'll get on to that a little bit later. <laughs> I do have a shirt on, by the way. Okay, so I'm not even going to lie. I never do eye makeup, but today I wanted to. I'm going to use my Thin Lizzy Triple Effect um, Warm Collection palette. It is actually super duper pretty. So I'm going to go in just with the shade Whisper, which is like this. <laughs> light brown sort of shade up here and just um do it. oh yeah this is a mirror i love that and just do a little little bit in the crease um just with some color i love it with my blue eyes because it always seems to like pop and use like a dark color you know what i mean but we're gonna just blend it out so it doesn't look too crazy man my brows need do it <laughs> So now that I've done with that, I'm just going to dip into this little champagne colour. It's literally called champagne. And just put a pop of that. Oh, wait. That's so pretty. Wait. I don't think you can see that. <laughs> Looks really pretty. I'll show you at the end properly. But I'm just going to pop a little bit of that in just to 
brighten up the eye. This is so slap dash. So sorry about this. Um, but yeah, wait, that is so pretty. Watch me just put like my whole eye. Watch me put my whole eye. Watch me just put this on my whole eye. Stop for a break. These um, are they Nature Valley? Nature Valley Pro <laughs> Nature Valley protein bars are so freaking good. So yeah, I'm just snacking as I always am and drinking water as per usual. Drink water. Oh, so good. <laughs> Let's get back into it. So, basically, the foundation that I use is the Mac Max Life Proof. This is like a second skin foundation in the shade 250. However, I feel like it's going to be a bit dark, so we're going to pop it on our same ColourPop palette. Um, put two pumps, even though I feel like that'll be way too much. And I'm going to add a tiny bit of my Thin Lizzy Concealer because it is a bit lighter than the foundation. Make a concoction and hope that it works. So... Um, yeah, let's see, we're gonna mix it together, pop it on, and I'm sure we'll make it work, we'll make it work. Mixy, mixy, mix. I feel like actually that might work. Well, we're gonna make it work, so <laughs> let's pop it on our face. Down our neck, ooh, hang on. <laughs> might be a bit of a different colour, but hold on. Well, it looks really good on screen. <laughs> um, let's see, we're just gonna do the bottom half of our face first, because I hate when foundation dries in and it's hard to blend out. Go back in with my Real Techniques brush um, and I'm going to keep it on mid and just blend, blend, blend. Literally like the airbrush finishing of this is so nice. Like if you're blending with a sponge first, stop, stop it, stop it. Use a brush. It's just so much better. And it is coming from someone with textured skin. Like it just makes it look so flipping good um so yeah i've still got my acne down here and whatnot but it is definitely getting a lot better um, which i am very happy girl about so yeah i highly recommend this brush to this real techniques one this is freaking amazing i think it's about 25 to 30 dollars at farmers um i might just link it down below for you because it is so good but yeah they gave me that other brush for free and that's worth about 20 30 dollars too so i was like i'll take that sis thank you very much i don't think i'll wear this shirt either because it is actually very cold <laughs> um so it'll be too much of my chest showing so if it doesn't match it doesn't really matter i was using this as a mirror um <laughs> hold on there we go that's better so i'm gonna just use this um oh my gosh the finish on this with those products underneath like so 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 good so now i'm gonna go back in with that stuff and pop it on the rest of my face so my forehead down my nose around my mouth oh i keep looking in this like a mirror <laughs> what an idiot um and then a tiny bit more on my forehead and just yeah obviously continue to blend that in i have basically taken a break off social media i'm back on it at the moment um so I, what is the date today? It's the 11th. So from about, I think last week, I um, deleted Instagram. I stopped posting on TikTok. I still watch TikTok um, because TikTok's an addiction. Like, nah, kidding. I actually wasn't on it that much, but I still did scroll occasionally. And like, you know, I tried not to just because I was focused on me, like not what other people were doing um, and whatnot. I feel like you just need that every every so often it's so healthy to take a break and just focus on you my armpits are a bit tan i can't even deal um but yeah also miss bronze this is my favorite tanning lady in hamilton follow her on instagram she is just absolutely beautiful i love her so much that was such an awkward way to do that but yeah pop a little bit more on um this is also a hack that i saw sheree do oh, i'm obsessed with that lady and it's just outlining your brows with your foundation I don't know why I turned real like bogue in there. Um, just outlining them and then just like blending just to very lightly around it. Um, and I turned English, but yeah, just to you know make sure it's all over your face. <laughs> okay, so basically, the whole reason I wanted to film this video is to show you one product that I have found and I am literally obsessed with. It is the Me Now Pro Foundation 4 Color. Now, this is from the little, um, I think it's a Japanese store in the base. It's called Yoyo So. They also have an online store and it's this little four wheel little palette. Um, so, it's got basically like a little concealer thing. I think it's like a blush. I've actually never used that one. Um, and then two little contour shades. It's just such a nice, like, I did my makeup and I took some photos in flash and it just looked so good. So we're going to dip in. I always mix these two together um, and just pop this where your 
contour goes this brush too is i think this is from another highlighter contour set that i had um that i don't have anymore but it's a nice brush it's like a little stippling brush so i'm just gonna pop some of that on wait that looks actually insane i'm gonna blend that out i promise um so on your forehead just stamp it on i'm gonna blend in with the brush again oh no i broke it dang it this happened the other day the little knob fell out so <laughs> oh it's down here hold on anyway so we're gonna blend it in just using the same brush oh it just looks so good that palette like i don't even know what it is i swear japanese and like just asian makeup in general is just the best and their skincare like just everything about them so flipping good like look at that oh so beautiful anyway i'm gonna do the other side of camera because i feel like i'm running out of time and my battery's about to die um so yeah i'll be back in a second like literally a second <laughs> I've put on some of the concealer from that little palette and I'm going to blend it in with that same brush because it's my holy grail, like bearing me with this brush, it's so good. So yeah, I've put a tiny bit under my eyes, need to grab my handy mirror, <laughs> my trusty mirror, um, and just blending that obviously upwards because we want to be lifted. Um, it just looks so flawless, like, oh, I'm obsessed with how my skin looks. That little palette, like, cost me, I think, about 10 bucks or something. Um, so good, so worth it, so good. I want to go get like four more before either they sell out or they stop making them. So yeah, as you know. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep blending, 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 blending it down my neck as well because we don't want to look um, two different colors. It's funny, I went through a complete phase where I just hated wearing makeup and I think it's because of my skin and like I never used to do skincare before I put my makeup on so it would just look awful. Um, but with this now, like it just literally like the makeup foundation says, it looks like second skin. Like it just looks so natural in like a glam sort of way and I'm just obsessed with it so yeah, I'm very happy girl. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is go back in with my uh, Maybelline powder and just take a little damp sponge. looks so airbrushed like I literally cannot explain how much of a difference putting on foundation and like products with brushes compared to I know I'm using a sponge right now but like your face products with brushes oh it just looks so good and then like the sponge for the powder just obsessed oh friggin obsessed <laughs> and now that that's all set I'm going to take this little nudes contour palette thing it had like a blush highlighter contour and setting powder and just go with the contour and do a tiny bit more Oops. contour and stuff on my face just to bring that color back a little because I feel like I washed it out when I set everything so yeah <laughs> and now for one of the final stages I'm going to take my little thin Lizzie this is my favorite it's the sweet face blush trio I'm sorry how stunning is that like it's just so pretty and what I do is I just take all three colors tap it off pop it I've got a smile <laughs> on the apples of my cheeks and brush it up the way oh it's just so cute it's my favorite and it has like a highlighter in it so oh my it looks so cute i just can't even deal so yeah that's what i'm gonna put on always put some on your nose you look sun cast um and just everywhere else that you want your little blushy to me wait it looks so freaking cute <laughs> focus Now I'm going to take my absolute go-to of all time, my Lash Therapy Mascara and my Lash Therapy Eyelash Curler, Eyelash, Eyelash Curler, <laughs> um, and just curl my lashes, give them a squeeze. Best eyelash curl in the world, I swear. Gives you an eyelash lift, it's just the greatest of all time. I should be using a little mirror because I can't actually see anything um, doing that like that. Oh yeah, you know when you get a good squeeze and you can just feel all the lashes in there? Beautiful, that would be great. Anyway, I'm gonna pop some of this mascara on now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go off camera and do this because I feel like it's gonna be a little bit awkward and everyone has an ugly mascara face, so you don't ever see that. Okay, so I swear this stuff just makes you look like you've got lash extensions. Like, it's actually such insane quality. Like, I'm obsessed, so. I love, 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 highly recommend it. Um, so good, and the serum, oh, amazing. Anyway, 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 our final step, which is highlighter, so I'm gonna take this little brush from Morphe, put some highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes, um, like so, the little arch of my brow. Oh wait, that looks so cute, that looks so good. So yeah, put some in there, um, on the tip of my nose, my favorite place. <laughs> so cute, um, on the little, Keep it above. Wait, that looks so freaking cute. I can't even deal with it. Chinny chin chin. The top 
candles. Um, and yeah. Now, if you've been watching me, oh, that's about to fall for any time, you'll know my favorite life hack for makeup of all time is to take a Q-tip, and when you've got foundation on your lips, you're going to suck on it, or just put it under a tab, whatever. And then put it on your lips and like apply some pressure, and they just look so good after. So this is a before. <laughs> And then the after, like it just looks so much better. And I'm even going to go with a little lip colour, um, which is this one. It's just by the brand W7. I've had this for years. Mega Matte Lips. It came with a liner, but I don't know where that is. So we're just going to pop some of the <laughs> lip colour on. Not much because I've been like, drinking water and stuff. So, yeah. Nice. Straight on the teeth. Good, good start there, Jess. I feel like that was a bit of a challenge. But anyway, just a little bit on finish off um, the look. But thank you so much for watching. I've missed you guys so much and I'm so happy to be back. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you. Let me know what else you want to see from me. And yeah, I want to do more vloggy vlogs because vloggy vlogs are my fave. And that's trademark by the way. So kidding. I learnt that off Anastasia. Um, have an amazing day or night wherever you are. I love you. Thank you for watching. You're beautiful. And yeah.